Kindergartners, make sure you listen all the way to the end of this video so you get all the directions. All right, we have been reading the story Pouch this week in class. I want you to watch the story again right after this. And while you're watching, I want you to watch for clues about the setting. Now remember the setting is where the story takes place because your job is going to be to finish your setting. And I want you to have some ideas of what to draw in your setting. We don't want characters, no characters. The story has characters, but I don't want you to draw characters today. I want you to look for clues in the story about the setting. Like on this page, I see grass is part of the setting, the sky is part of the setting, the plants are part of the setting. I know that somewhere in the story, he hops to some sandy area. So you see some trees. I see flowers. Let's see, what else do I see? This is the sandy hollow. You might want to add sand. So I want you to watch my whole story. I'm gonna read it to you again. It's such a good story, you can watch it again. When you're done listening to the story, your job is going to be to work on your setting. So watch all the way to the end of the video before you start. Hi, kindergartners. So we've been talking about the parts of a story and there are five parts of a story. Character, setting, beginning, middle, end. I'm gonna read you a story today and I want you to think about those five parts as we're reading. Our story today is called Pouch. And I want you to notice that it has an exclamation mark. That means I have to say it with a lot of excitement. Pouch by David Ezra Stein. Here's the title page. Pouch by David Ezra Stein. When he was a brand new kangaroo, Joey lived in the pouch until one day, now Joey is a baby kangaroo. He peeked out and saw the world and his mama smiling down at him. Mama, said Joey, I want to hop. He climbed out of the pouch and took two hops in the tall grass. Hop, hop. Who are you? Bee. Pouch, said Joey. But soon he wanted to hop again. He took three hops to the little hill. Hop, hop, hop. Who are you? Rabbit. Pouch, said Joey. wanted to hop again. He took four hops to the sandy hollow. Hop, 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 hop. Who are you? Bird. What do you think is going to happen? Joey. <laughs> but soon he wanted to hop again. He took five hops to the pasture fence. Hop, 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 hop. Who are you? Kangaroo. Two kangaroos. Oh my goodness, they scared each other.
each other. Wait, said Joey. You're afraid of me too? <laughs> then they hop, 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 hoppity hopped everywhere. Pouch, said the mamas. No thanks. All right. Kindergartners, we have been reading the story Pouch and talking about the five parts of a story. Character, setting, beginning, middle, end. Today we start, or yeah, yesterday we started working on our setting, where the story takes place. And today your job is to finish your setting. So I had my setting in my bag. My setting is where the story takes place. Whoa. And um, I made sure and added lots of details with my crayon and my pencil. So I put some hills in there. I know there was a part of the story where there was sand, there were trees, there were flowers and bushes. This is what my setting looks like. Now I want you to pay attention that I filled the whole thing in. We don't want just a little picture of the setting in the middle. That would be a little boring because we're gonna use this for a puppet show. And puppet show starts with P. Aww. So I want you to finish your setting, just the front, fill it in with where the story happens, where the story pouch happens. When you're done, you're gonna fold it back up, carefully put it in the bag that we gave you because we're gonna need this this week. Boys and girls, take a quick look at Miss Light's setting. It doesn't have any characters in it. It's just the setting where the story takes place. Also, Miss Light used crayons. Please, you can do a lot more details with crayons or colored pencils. So please don't use markers for this one. We wanna see lots of color and your beautiful details in your setting. And when you're done, put this safely in your bag, put your tools away, and you'll be ready for tomorrow.